Chief. I'm familiar with Mr. Perry. I've spoken with him before. I know he's, I, know, I shouldn't say I'm no, so 
that he's blonde or is part of the 13th of on some level. And did you have occasion to view a certified copy of this Texas Motor Vehicle Record and specifically where it addresses the registration of the vehicle that he was driving that day? Yes. And, and just to be clear, do you recall specifically what type of vehicle it was? I believe it was a you know, little white Nissan Sentra. Recently is August of 2013. 
Yes. Objection irrelevant. Does that disclose to what? It goes to show that he's a resident of the city of New Hampshire by his active involvement in local positions. Based on a court ruling from the Stratford County Superior Court that was issued on the 24th of July, uh, running for office does not make one a resident. Uh, neither does registering to vote. I haven't seen a copy of that. Mr. Perry is not sharing that with me. I guess I'd, I'd like to have an opportunity to read this multiple page document. Does that make your copy? Yes. Right. And, um, I guess I'm assuming that's it's in the form of a motion to dismiss is what you're making at some point? Or is uh, it no, this is a is court that ruling that was entered, that was uh, released by the Stratford County Superior Court okay. on Thursday of last week. Okay. All right. I, I, the testimony is relevant. That doesn't mean that they prove that, that aspect. To be able to argue the law with respect to that decision in any case is cited in there, but I think that the testimony is relevant to residency. This is the state of the Yeah. Did you say you had next to copy for the court? Did you say? Yes. Okay, I don't need it just yet, but hang on to it. This is either number one. Okay. Yeah. Yes. 
And what is it? It's a New Hampshire voter registration form. And is that for the defendant, Mr. Perry? It is. And what address does he list as his residence? 75 Leverett Street in Kingwood. Objection, it says domicile, not residence. In fact, this says residence address. And then what do you have? Do you have a copy of that, Mr. Perry? Yes. I stand corrected. And then on what date did he complete that paperwork? This appears to be May 10th, 2012. And are you aware um, that the defendant has answered questionnaires by a local paper because he has been run, he's run for several public offices and local positions? Yes, I am. And have you viewed copies of those questionnaires that he's completed? I have. And are you aware that he's run for the um, county register of deeds back in 2012? Yes. And have you viewed that in a questionnaire? Not yet. I have. Not other than the standard. Yes, that's the young yeah, you don't have to mention that again. It's on the record. Uh, seven? Yes. I'm gonna do um, a document that's an editor states is it seven. And can you indicate what that what that document is? It's a peers to Recently, in September of 2013. 
And um, does he indicate on that questionnaire what, if any other, uh, affiliations in New Hampshire or in Cheshire County he's affiliated with that you haven't already testified to? matters of law issues have to be researched, we'll have to deal with that at the end of the case. 
Okay. So uh, it would be inappropriate to cite or to have the witness read part one, article 19? It would be inappropriate. It's not inappropriate for you to, to turn to the Constitution if you think it, it supports your, your case once the facts are all in. Okay. Uh, did you have reason to run my vehicle registration? I did. And what was that reason? Uh, at some point, and I don't know exactly when, uh, I'm going to guess because of the perceived infamy, notoriety, whatever value folks place on the group you belong to, or one of them. Somebody had called and complained that your vehicle had been on my register. Was this an anonymous complaint? Yeah, I, I don't remember where it was or when you got an email that somebody called in. I don't recall where. When you pull people over for expired registrations, do you always issue a ticket or do you sometimes issue warnings? It's very relevant. Why is it relevant for me to determine whether or not you uh, needed to be uh, given a citation? I would say that it's relevant in so far as to show that I was being singled out, especially since he cited an anonymous complaint. Right, you can answer the question as to whether or not you sometimes give citations, sometimes I won't. Okay. Uh, sometimes I do, sometimes I do not. The important qualifier there is this. Uh, if somebody has simply forgotten and we're within a week or two, uh, I oftentimes ask that person to go take care of that immediately. Uh, if it's more than that in the month area, I may issue them a summons and tell them that they have a week to come back and see me because the responsibility to register that, that car is theirs, not mine. If they come back, I may take that summons back. But your vehicle was 20 months, if my math was correct, unregistered at that point. So that falls well outside of my uh, compassion. And it has nothing to do with who you are or the perception or the initial complaint. And particularly when you showed me the letter from the state of Texas reminding you to register your car. Uh, 20 months is just not acceptable. That's why I'm going to take it. And you cited me for violating RSA 261 40, correct? Uh, correct, I'm registered my vehicle. What proof, if any, do you have to support the claim that? I was actually operating a vehicle in violation of RSA 261-40. What proof? What physical proof? Do you have any evidence? Um, correct, yes. I watched you drive the car. Uh, you were driving the car on the street. I stopped you when you were driving the car. We talked about you driving the car. You provided me the documentation from the state of Texas and your Arizona license where you sat in the car, and in fact, your colleague with the camera back there came running across the Colonial parking lot while you were in the car and may have videotaped it. Okay, that's verbal testimony, that's not physical evidence. You have pictures of me in the vehicle. You have video of me driving the vehicle. You may have video of me driving the vehicle, I do not. Now, let's go to the charge that, or actually two charges, that I am a New Hampshire resident. Uh, can you take a look at the New Hampshire Voter Registration?